Hi folks, Space Scavenger is a spaceship shoot 'em up with the added chaos of building your ship as you go along, cobbling it together for modules you find in space. It's all random too, so you never know what ship you're going to end up with. Please let there be lasers. So this is by Red Cabin Games, and thanks to them for the early key. And man, it comes out in early access on the 12th of June, 2020. I mean, this Space Scavenger gameplay video it will attempt one run at the game, and um, it does have permadeath and other roguelite elements. Uh, there's four levels per region, starting with a straightforward one, and later moving into a poisonous region where you have limited oxygen to complete the level, and so on. Uh, we'll see how the game escalates that way later in the video, so stick around, and while you're at it, subscribe to Randomized User, and click the bell to be notified when the next video goes live about the best indie games out there. How slick I am. Anyway, we've actually got our first bit of debris. So we, this isn't very much of anything, it's just a beam. It doesn't really do anything, it just makes our ship a little bit bigger. So let's stop, let's get out of this bloody build mode. Get away from the planet, now we've scanned it, and now we can just finish tonking the enemies. Um, and eventually we'll find a warp point to get out of here. Here on level 1.1. This ain't your daddy's Mario. What does that even mean? No, nobody knows. Right. That's level 1.1, now 1.2. So as soon as we've finished a region, we'll go to a shop as well, where we'll be able to spend our crystals on either repairs or new modules. You start with this. It's just a piddly little thing. At the moment, I don't actually have anything else, but we should be able to pick up some weapons, hopefully, either killing enemies or scanning planets or doing other things. Well, here we go, look. We have ourselves some armour and a small engine. Right, let's put that there. And we'll put the engine on the back there. Go! So time is pretty much frozen when you're building. I think it might go ever so slightly faster than zero, but I'm not quite sure. So to scan a planet, you just literally just have to circle it like this. You don't even have to press a button. And I don't think there's any um, penalty for actually crashing into it, as far as I can tell. And we still haven't got another weapon. Um, you can have kind of like two weapons on your mouse button, um, but I can't really demonstrate that just yet, <laughs> because I don't have a second weapon. Uh, these little space larvae, 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 are chomping at my chode at the moment. Oh, I just um, released a repair kit, or some re repair bolts, but I don't actually need it at the moment. What I do have is a stinker. I've had this before. Uh, let's put that there. So, let's just change. So, my one is going to be that weapon, but my, my two, my right mouse button, is now going to be the stinker. Uh, which essentially is kind of like a, a gas of mine stuff. In the sense that if anyone runs into it, they die. It's very useful indeed, and you should probably pick that up as soon as you can. Scan, 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 scan. So there's no time limit at the moment, but there will be later. Oh, there's the warp thing right there. There are no more enemies to kill. 1.3. Don't litter in space. Recycle your modules. The ones that you don't need anymore. So yeah, the levels are random, as are what you actually get in a level, in terms of power-ups and all that. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh no! Okay, now I've actually been hurt. Thankfully, um, I'm still pretty damn healthy. Oh, okay. That, uh, that actually hit the armor, so it didn't actually damage me. Oh, got some more armor as well. Let's bung that on the side like that. I'm getting a very armored front at the moment, which is handy. Unfortunately, I could do with more weapons. Right, let's scan planet number one. Oh, something nasty in orbit. Yes. No. We oh, no. Shit. Let's toxify the atmosphere. Let's tory it up. Oh, here we go. We've got a little beam. That can go... Well, let's extend our thing a bit. Unfortunately, that's only giving us stuff on the right-hand side. I don't think you can rotate, as, as I understand it. I think it's deliberately a bit Tetris-y. Oh, hang on. So you have to be a bit clever about your designs. Have I scanned that planet? Yes, I have. Right. Fart! Oh, it's already dead. Oh, got, got myself my first crystal. That's currency. Right, let's go. Scan the planet on the left. There's a minimap in the bottom left, if you hadn't noticed. Do the old spinneroo. Do the old farty poos. There we go. There's actually one of the enemies in this game is actually literally called a farter. The first time I played it, I died to a farter. There were scenes. Now you can get more than one of these at once as well. So if, if you have like three of these attached to your ship, um, by pressing the button, it'll activate all of them. Anyway, we have got ourselves another... Yet again, some structure. Yeah. Those blocks are good because they've got uh, attachment stuff on every side. Whereas the, the beams don't. So we are getting bigger, but we, we're probably just getting less manoeuvrable now. You can get extra thrust. 
But we haven't actually... Oh, bloody hell. We haven't actually got that yet. I seem to have been... Yeah. Seem to have been getting all the structural ones this time, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, a spawner. Oh, careful, careful. I'm a bit back heavy. I'm a very front wheel drive type situation here. <laughs> oh, we're not, oh, an engine. Excellent. And... Ah, there's, um, there's an engine locked in the warp thing. Um, will I be able to actually retrieve this? Yes, I will, because it's the E button. Right, so I think... I'll put it on the right-hand side, so I'll get some extra thrust in certain directions only, I think. This is less than ideal. Anyway, let's get out of here. So that was a bit better. We've made our ship nice and big now. I'll be into 1.4. The last one in this sec this region of space, in this section. Oh, my God! Fart, 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 fart. Oh, wow, that really came in hot there. Still haven't got a new um, proper aggressive weapon. I mean, the um, the stink cloud is all very well, but that's very defensive. Ooh. Ah, crystal. Oh, I can't get... Well, I don't think I can get uh, mine that out until I've got something more powerful. But having said that, I'm not even sure that actually does have crystal in it. I'm not 100% sure. Get got. Ah. Mm. So if you do like building side games where you build as you go along, um, do check out my video on making it home, uh, which I put out on the channel very recently. Oh, a laser! I did say I wanted lasers. Uh, check out Making It Home, because that is a really good um, modular building game. Only that one's a side-scrolling game. Hang on, let's put that there and that. Oh, it's pointing the wrong direction. Ooh, hang on. This is... I'm not quite sure what's going to go on here. There we go. Now it's point pointing forwards. The stink is still on the front. I could move the stink. Uh, let's move the stink a bit further back, so that'll be more of a, a rear guard thing. Anyway, uh, let's get out of here. Now, I need to change my one to the laser. Here we go. Now, this... Uh, your weapons do actually have... Oh, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing that, aren't I? <laughs> your weapons do actually have ammo. You can see... Well, energy, really. In the bottom, you can see that. But it does... Some of it does actually restore on its own. And I think there are other ways of restoring it as well. Right, so other planet. I've got one more planet to scan. Uh, that one's down there. So feels a bit piddly, but it seems to be doing the business, this laser. So I haven't, haven't actually had the laser before. It's quite cool, but there's a, it's revealed a lot of reds. Look at, look at the amount of reds, little dots on the minimap. Right, fart time. Hmm, that didn't really help. <laughs> They're not overly aggressive, these lads, but they will swim into it eventually. The fart cloud only stays around for a few seconds, but usually does the job. If, the, if things are getting really quickly towards you, they help. Anyway, let's try and get rid of this. I don't know if I should have... I think I might actually put the fart cloud a bit closer to the front. We seem to be almost out of this. Hang on, I'm going to be careful. Let's go back to my normal, just whilst that's happening. Now, this has unlimited amount of energy, so you, you can not worry too much about that. Right, I'm going to move the stink cloud to... Well, there, I think, since there was space there. It's much better... Yeah, it's much better having it further forwards. Right, let's see if the um, the laser's back. Well, it's three quarters restored now. There's some extra shield. Up to 164 out of 180. Do the old fart room. This is a big lad that will separate. Yeah, there we go. Usually, um, they're very um, the, the stink cloud is very effective against those splitters. They just oh, here we go. Armor, more armor. Right, that can go somewhere. That can go near the back. Nice. Fart. Oh, it's... Yeah, they're a bit more ponderous, them. So it's a bit harder to get them with the cloud. I think you have to kill all the enemies. Oh, sh shitty death. <laughs> kill all the enemies to actually get the warp thing opened. We've got another engine. There we go. Matching engines, so... Thrust all over the bloody shop. Yeah! Woo! -hoo! Maneuverability! That's the beauty of gas! Speaking of which... I think I just quoted a British gas commercial from like the 1980s there. <laughs> what a lad. Now, here we go. Now we're entering the shop. The space shop. <laughs> the well-known space shop. Right, so we don't need much in the way of health. Although the next region does get surprisingly difficult quite quickly. Um, we've only got two gems that we've managed to mine out, so that's not going to go very far at all. No. I mean, oh, rocket launcher for seven quid. And a goo launcher, eight quid. And a shoddy! 
Mm. We're a bit poor. Oh, I should have just been done, bloody. Yeah, well. Right, so we're now entering the poison region. Now, this is where the time limit will start to apply. The oxygen level um, it will be the blue bar. Again, coming in hot. Uh, the oxygen level will creep down. I think there are ways of getting more oxygen. But I didn't really see it in, in a previous playthrough. A golden solar panel. Ooh, I've only had a normal solar panel previously. I'll put that in. Well, there's nowhere to put it. We've got a thruster, a two-way engine. Well, let's get rid of this. Hang on, which, what's the button? F. And put in that thruster. I wonder if I could put it on the back. Nah, whatever. I'm tempted to recycle this. And put the solar panel on there. That'll get us um, weapon energy back. With any luck. Okay. Stay back. So yeah, there's a lot more farty type enemies in this, so we've got to be careful. Uh, to get our first back, back, uh, batch of oxygen, I do know that we have to scan the planets. So let's quickly do a little tour of the planet. This time the planets fart back at us. And we've got ourselves up to 68 oxygens now. So let's wait until we actually need to get more oxygen before scanning the other planet. Oh my god. It's becoming a bit more bullet hell. Are they sheep? I think they're sheep. Yellow sheep. Yellow bug sheep. Space sheep! Ow, that was really painful, that. That was a bit of a tonk. I'm down to 104 shield and 42 oxygens. Let's try for... Oh my god, it... Oh! Ooh, I've had this before. Flamethrower's a bit of fun. It's tasty. I'm going to put that on me... I might put it on me bum. I'm going to get rid of this armour. Alas, alas. Uh, I don't really know if I need this or not. I'm going to temporarily put that there. And instead of my stink bomb, I'm going to put the flamethrower on my backside. I'm not quite sure. To be honest, I don't think like backside action is really very useful, so to speak, when it comes to fighting things off, because generally I'm approaching things from the front. Also, I think I've killed all the enemies. Oxygen's getting low. Scan, 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 scan. There's some. Oh, okay. Um, let's run away. Oh, this is really... Oh. <laughs> Take that! It's it's a bit difficult. It's a bit unwieldy. I'm not 100 sure this is the right thing to do. Let's um, change back to here. But now let's quickly extend ourselves. What I might do is... Oh my god, that's destroyed everything. What I might do is stick to bodies. So I could do with a stink up front. I'm going to put armour down there. In fact, yeah, let's put that there. Stick bomb there. That can go there, and that can hopefully... Oh, that goes upwards. That's annoying. So I think maybe if I could put the flamethrower facing forwards. That might be fun. We need the solar panel. And what's that? That's the that's the thrusty, thrusty poo, so let's put that over there. And that's an another thrust. That can weirdly go there. Hopefully that won't spin us around in circles too much. Ah, that's me doing it, obviously. Right, so we've got to get the red dots. Finish them off. So everything hits a lot hard. Oh my god, it, it it pooed at us. I think that might actually be the farter. Right, anyway, we've got to get a wiggle on now. Time is of the essence. There's no time for fannying. Oh, there's only two... Oh, well, there's actually only two re um, levels in this particular region. Thank god for that, frankly. <laughs> Let's try flamethrower. Oh, here we go. So it looks like um this depletes incredibly quickly. So we're going to be able to... Oh my god! We're going to be able to use this... Oh my god, that really hurt. We're going to be able to use this occasionally. I'll stick to the laser for the most part. Right, so we've got 36 oxygens. Uh, I think it's time probably to do the scanning. Get our, get our mass effect on. I can do two things at once here, look. Get rid of you. God, I'm so farty. I'm, just, mm, I'm wondering, what, to be honest, this seems more powerful than... I don't know. I honestly don't know why I've... Got, hang on, let's get the laser going on. on the oh, That's more like it. I don't know why I have the, the piddly thing on. Oh my god, this is terrible. I hate it. Having said that, let's get back to the flamethrower. There we go. Frying tonight. And you, get rid of you. Oh, oh it does apply a burn debuff, doesn't it? Which is handy. Anyway, let's... Um, 
sort you out. So there's a bit of a balance of not wanting to scan the planets immediately, just so we've got more oxygen to fight more enemies. Whatever. So we, we need, now we need to do a tour of the level, by the looks of it. Get rid of all... Oh my god, down to 50. Oh, that's a that's a horrible plant thing. Don't like, don't like you. Don't like, if, you, if you attack it, it just like pops out in an orgy of death. Right, 72. Oh, there's a load over here. Hmm. Anything that pew-pews at you, the flamethrower is not great against. Now, it looks like... Oh, hello. There's a... Oh, here we go. Oh, another flamethrower. Hmm. I wonder if we, if we put another flamethrower on. Um... That seems a bit of a strange place to have it. I'm going to get rid of this, because we've already got plenty of thrust, I think. So now we've got two-way flamethrower with any luck. Oh, yes! <laughs> Do I have to kill that? I can't even reach it. Hang on. Can I kill that? How do you kill it? I don't know. That's worrying. I'm not quite sure how to kill it. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I'll get the shitty death. I'm really hurting now. Pew pew. Small engine. Solid. Don't need that. Oh, I got some oxygen from something. Not quite sure what I got it from. But that plant now seems to have gone. That was bursting all over the shop. There's no red dot. I didn't actually see it die, but whatever. Maybe it's got. A Maybe once it's opened once, it has a time limit. Anyway, 25 seconds to go. And we've finally got through this stink region. However, it looks like there are two more stink regions to go, having said that. It's just that the shop was a bit more kinder this time. So how much have we got? Six. We've got six quid. Armour. But we can't afford the... Oh, we can't No, we can't afford the goo launcher. But we can afford a crossbow for five. Let's... First of all, let's spend some money on... Why is it blown up? That used to be... Um, I'm sure that should be... Um, oh. Oh. That's a problem. Well, we'll have to spend it on cool weapons then. What a shame. I do want to try the, the crossbow. Let's put that. The flamethrower is, is cool, but... Oh. Am I, I'm not really using the stink cloud anymore. Maybe I should. Stink cloud... I think the, the green laser might be a bit piss. So I'm going to officially get rid of that. Uh-oh. Hang on. I might have to... Juggle things a bit. Oh, we can put the flamethrower on the side. Oh, maybe that'll be a... Maybe we could do a side flamethrower thing, maybe, Bob. Right, let's have a go with this. Oh, wow! <laughs> uh, right, let's put the crossbow on here. Oh, it's got recoil. Look at that. But that seems quite tasty. I want to put this on the front, maybe. Let's give it to the armour, which is probably a mistake. Oh, the, the arrows are just hanging out. Anyway, so, let's change my thing to a flamethrower there. Right, now we're, now we're powerful. Let's see what happens in 2.3. Oxygen is limited in later levels. Scan planets, add some more. Now it tells me. Right, things always seem to come in. Oh my god, this is hard to use. But it's very powerful. Holy shite. It's like a sniper thing. Dynamite, is that bad? <laughs> Sorry, dynamite approached. Just suddenly getting flashbacks to Black Sea Odyssey. That was a, many years ago on the channel. That was oxygen. Oh, little bubble of oxygen. Oh, no. Hang on. Careful. Run away. Do a little spinny thing. Oh, bloody hell. Doing a little spinny thing was a bad idea. They annihilated me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But that was a nice little ship. Although, yeah, the flamethrower out of the side was very showy, but it turned out to be a terrible idea. Meanwhile, I seem to be killing things from beyond the grave. But that's um, all to the good. And here comes the little sheepy poos, ready to do a kamikaze at me. Right, so this is cool. This is a really nice game, Space Scavenger. And check it out on Steam uh, from the 12th of June. It's I recommend this. Um, I look forward to playing around with this some more as well. Uh, do check out the rest of my channel, subscribe, and all the usual things. And... Uh, check out my Patreon and my Buy Me A Coffee if you want to support us. Keep us, keep us, help keep us finding all the best indie games out there. I'll see you next time.